Hello and uh, welcome back to our training series on Photoshop for website designers. And the way to get started is to go up to File and choose the Open uh, option here. Or if you'd prefer, and it's a good idea, to get used to using keyboard shortcuts. So without having to grab your mouse or moving it anywhere, you can just hit uh, Control O on your keyboard. And that will bring up Windows Explorer and you can navigate through your hard drives searching for the image that you want to use in your website design. And, uh, recently I was in the country of Nepal after the earthquake in April 2015. Now here's an image of a family standing in front of their crumbled house. Uh, you'll notice that as we point to it, and I'm using Windows 8, uh, but I believe that th this also shows up in previous versions of Windows. Just point to any image and a flyout box will come up uh, displaying the dimensions of the image. And we see that this is a full res JPEG that I process from a raw image. Uh, so the dimensions are quite high uh, over, well, almost 5,500 pixels by, by 3,648 pixels uh, at its full resolution. Now, the reason why we can't just use images the way they come off of our cameras is that there are two problems with it. Number one, it's a much larger uh, pixel size than what we would ever need or want at our website. Uh, if we were to look at our Joomla Skills website, for example, uh, the main section here that is defined between these two arrows is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of around 1300 pixels. Well, our image here at Photoshop is 5,500 pixels. Even if we wanted our image to go completely across the screen, it's still way too big for even that. But the other problem is that it, the file is very heavy. If we were uh, to go back to Explorer and uh, pointed and hovered over our image, we would see that it displays not only the pixel size, but also the size of the file itself. It's 15.2 megabytes. So even if your website has the ability to resize your images. Uh, being 15 and a half megabytes per image, your website would just take too long to load. So what we need to do is resize this image so that not only is it a lot smaller, but the file size itself is something that will load quickly when people visit your website. And the way that we can do that is, uh, if you want to use the menu uh, options up here, is to go to image and go down to image size but it's a good idea to learn these keyboard shortcuts because you'll find that you can do this operation a lot faster once you know these keyboard shortcuts. And you'll notice that the keyboard shortcut for this option is alt Control i So if you hold down all three keys at the same time, alt Control i that will open up a little dialog box that not only shows us the actual dimensions of our image, in pixels and if you're not showing pixels here if you're showing inches instead it's probably a good idea to change that to pixels not only does it display the size but it allows you the option to change the size now for website use we usually like to set the resolution to be 72 pixels per inch so just plug in 72 there and uh, you'll see that when we change the resolution that this also changes the size of the image already, but it's still probably way bigger than what we would want to use. This image is not something that we would normally use in, say, a slideshow at a website. It's more something that you might use to illustrate an article. And so those types of images, you normally wouldn't want to go much more than about 400 pixels in width. So let's try that to start with. Let's pop in 400 there. You'll notice that as you change the width, that the height also automatically changes. And the reason it does that is because we have them connected here through this little link. Uh, let's maybe just change that back, uh, maybe undo that and see what happens if we don't have that link connecting the two, the width and the height, and then change this to 400. Notice what happens to our image. The width changed, but the height doesn't. And so you end up with a very odd compressed looking image where everybody's skinny. So when you're resizing, you want to make sure that that link is established. So when you make the change to the width, 
that the height will also change. And once you have the dimensions that you are happy with, just hit OK, and the image resizes. Now, it may look that we have made the image way too small, but if we zoom into that image by hitting the Control and the uh, Equals key or the Plus key on your keyboard, hold those two down together and zoom into the image, the image is, uh, this is, this is about the size that it would be in our articles. We can zoom in more if we keep using the control equals key, but once you go past the actual resolution, you can see it starts to get really pixelated. But this is about, I think, the actual size, and so that's the image that we would use. Now, before you save it, uh, you could also decide to crop it a little bit if you want to, and uh, you can use the crop tool over here and just slide this across on either edge probably wouldn't want to in this case on this side because we want to see the house. We like all the rocks at the bottom and we want to include most of the house at the top. So if we wanted to crop it at all, we'd probably just crop this side of it. And once you've got it the way you like it, just hit the enter key and now we can save. And the way you save uh, an image, you can either again do it uh, using the menu items, go up to file and choose save as. We don't want to just hit save because that would overwrite our original image and we would no longer have our high-res JPEG. We would be overwriting it with our small one and we don't want to do that. So we'll use a save as and we'll give it a, 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 probably a different name. We may also want to even create a new folder and uh, save the resized images in the new folder. Now, as far as the quality goes, you'll see that it defaults to nine. That's probably the best, most optimal setting for website use. If you went up to 12, you'll see that the file size doubles and it's just gonna make your pages take longer to load and people probably wouldn't even notice the difference in quality. So nine is probably the biggest, uh, the best bang for your buck as far as image quality as it relates to the actual size of the file, which will determine how quickly your pages load. So there you have it, uh, how to resize images in Photoshop for use on your website. In our next lesson, we're going to demonstrate how you can set up a template so that you can very easily create a large number of files to be the same dimension something like what you might do to prepare images for a slideshow at your website. So we hope that you will pop back and uh, take a look at that tutorial uh, down the road.